Well, hello YouTube. This is Captain Dave Sport Fishing, YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. And it's also quality knife sharpening. We do a lot of sharpening here. On the old Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. What I wanted to do was talk about this knife right here, give you a simple, quick uh, overview from my perspective, which is just your average knife guy. I never thought of myself as an out the front. This is a Microtech Ultra Tech and it is the Blade Show 2022 version. I have always been a folder guy and I'm a auto folder guy. So I decided a couple weeks ago to pick this up. So I have some time with it. I am highly enjoying the fact that it's one-handed operation. Just that quick. One-handed operation. It's just easy. It's just so easy to pull this out, cut something, and put it in your pocket. There is a lot of videos out there that I have watched that are, you know, complainers. And I mean, since I have nothing to to judge this on other than what I've seen. There's a lot of complainers out there about how uh, that right there, that ramp is so aggressive. I don't know. I really don't have a problem. I don't have a problem whatsoever. Am I into what they have here is these proprietary screws. I don't care either way. I really don't care either way because I'll probably never be taking this apart. But right out of the box, my first impression wasn't great. And I mean, Microtech, Microtech, Microtech. That's all you hear. Microtech, Microtech. Here was the reason that my first impression wasn't great. You hear that? Let me put the microphone right up to it. I thought Microtech was all about precision. Absolute precision is what I thought they were all about. That switch is really, listen, it's like all loosey-goosey, you know, makes some rattle. I mean, I hate to say this, but that was the first thing when I pulled this out of the box that I noticed. I didn't notice the fit and finish. I didn't notice the blade, the pocket clip the glass breaker with the tungsten ball or whatever right here at the very end, which is a big deal, I suppose. I could take it or leave it myself. I got this to kind of say to myself, well, I didn't make it to Blade Show 2020. I was kind of not impressed with their edge. I just got done after having this knife for weeks. I just put up a, a 20 degree, you can see my, my machine is sitting here on 20 degrees and I finished it up. I finished the edge up with, uh, what is this? Uh, 60,000 grit, <laughs> 60,000 grit, 0.3 micron lapping film. I used other stuff. I mean, I used this too. I used the pink 
which is three micron. I use the yellow, what is the yellow? 1200 or whatever. So I like all my knives at a 20 degree. It's just, it was, believe it or not, it was a little, I believe it was kind of pushing at 21 degrees or a, a hair, a hair wider to tell you the truth. I can't get over that. I can't get over that. For some reason, that is my personal hang up, but it's quality made. I mean, there is no doubt about it. It's a quality made out the front. If you can have an out the front, what you'll enjoy about this is that one handed operation. I've never thought I was ever going to get one of these. I even said to a knife dealer online, I said, what's up with all these damn out the fronts? Don't you have any Microtech, you know, just plain autos out the sides? And he said, oh no. He says, in my shop, these are all that sell is the out the fronts. But it takes up no pocket space really. If I had my druthers, would I have gotten possibly a different out the front? Maybe a bigger one even, maybe? I don't know. But I just got it because of the, I didn't get to go to Blade Show 2020. And I mean, they built a ton of these for that show. And every dealer from here to who the hell knows where ended up with piles of these. So I got it, but I'm telling you, I was not impressed with the edge. I did not mirror this. I mean, I, I tried to put a very shiny edge on it a little bit. I could spend a lot more time with it. It was sharp. It was sharp, but was it, was it, Screaming sharp? No, it is now because I just pluck hairs with it. I, when I'm after I'm done sharpening, I put it in here. And I leave it up in the vise, and I pull a hair, and I take that hair and I go right across it. You may have seen me do that before in my other videos. It's just to satisfy me. I want to see it literally shave a hair. So that's the way it is now at 20 degrees. But do I recommend something like this if you can have it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool. I'm not a fidget dude. I'm not in, the, this isn't a toy. I don't consider knives toys. There's so many people that, oh, fidget factor, this flipper, you know, I don't know. They're just very adolescent in my mind. That is extremely adolescent. I use this as a tool. I cut stuff constantly. Uh, the blade steel. It's literally not on here. And I can't remember. It's like M390 or something like that. It doesn't matter. But am I taking this out? when I'm on the boat fishing and getting doused in salt water and stuff. No, no, I'm not. This is just a around knife. I carry it around, but not out doing the work. So it's just kind of a EDC. So there you go. That's sort of my thoughts. It's not super grippy. You know, maybe if I was to get um, one of these out the fronts, I might get one that's G10 on the outside. This is a cold steel, a three inch holdout. And look at that G10. But if I was to get another out the front, just because I'm not into, I'm into everything that all the videos that you see with the handy boys. Oh, this is too rough. Oh, this is a thumb eater. Or, 
oh, this is too rough. It's eating my, my pleated docker pants. You know, they even used to say the same thing. Oh my God, they used to just go crazy with the cold steel pocket clips. Oh my God. But I might try to find, if, it was, if I was to do this all over again, which I probably won't, I would try to find a quality manufactured out the front that has a reputable you know, name in the industry that has G10 like that. So that's just some thoughts. It's, yeah, it's not really, you know, I've seen tests of it, this exact type knife being beat to a pulp so it can take it, but I don't know. It's got a little of this, see them? It's got a little of that. But is that where your, your fingers are at? Not really, my finger's on that, on that slide ramp right there, not up here. So these come in dagger, they come a ton of them in Tonto, uh, all kinds of serious quality steels, if that's what you're into. I think pretty much they all have the glass breaker. And the problem is, I mean, some of these, I mean, it's ridiculous that you can spend a thousand dollars on one of these just because of the damn paint job and, and the steel. I'm already getting a tad of dust accumulation inside there. You can see how the hole is offset because of the mechanism inside. That's it, real quick. The most thing I enjoy about this is it's monster one hand. People can say, oh yeah, I mean, you know, I can flick a knife just as fast as an auto. Maybe you can, but some of us don't give a crap. We don't want to. I have a whole bunch of different other autos. I'll go over those at a later date. But Microtech, Ultratech. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.